Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. It is a lovely day down at the beach. Teeny bit windy, but very, very warm and deceptive. Now, one of the most popular questions I ever get asked is what is the most favorite giant food I've ever made? It has to be the after eight, where we took it and gave it to all the people in the elderly residential home. Amazing. But I do get a lot of requests to how you can make your very own homemade after eights, just standard size. So today, that is exactly how I'm showing you what to do. And it's only three ingredients. The ingredients you do need are some dark chocolate, some mint extract and icing sugar. Well, the fourth ingredient is actually water, but H2O is readily available in most places. Now there's so many different ways that you can make this. One way is to just pour the dark chocolate onto a sheet and then slice it up with the icing in the middle, more chocolate on top, and then you've got squares. Now, uh, two other options are using a silicon tray. So I used a silicon cupcake tray as one option. And the second option was a bit more of a bodge job, was a custom foil thing that I did. I took a silicone tray and made square compartments by wrapping foil sheets and side taping it together. That took me hours, but it did give me the kind of effect that I was after. So first thing you're going to do is melt up your dark chocolate. So you can either do this over a pan, a simmering water, giant food style, aka a bain marie, or you can just blast it in the microwave for 20 to 30 second blasts. Get that all melted up until it's nice and smooth. And what you want to do, whatever you're using, uh, whether it's the silicon tray or your custom moldy thing, pour a very thin layer of chocolate on there. Make sure you get it into all the nooks and crannies and simply shove it in the fridge just to get an initial set on it for around about 15 minutes. Meanwhile, we'll make that amazing minty filling for our after eights, which is quite simply icing sugar with a minty vibe. So uh, basically with a bowl of icing sugar there, just gradually add enough water so you get a nice thick paste, okay? So mix it and if it's too droopy, that'll just all spill out and it'll hit the sides because you want to kind of conceal it when you make your after eight, okay? So get it a nice thick consistency and then add in a little drop of mint extract. Mix that through and you're ready to go. So all you wanna do with your bases set is actually spoon that icing sugar mixture on top of them, making sure you leave enough gap around each of the edges. Uh, once you've done that to all of them, uh, it does take a little bit of time. Do take your time with those steps. It's probably one of the trickiest steps out of all of it. You can then simply drape on some extra melted dark chocolate. It's now time to shove that in the freezer if you're in a hurry or give it a good set for an hour. And to really make it feel homemade uh, after eight style, like those black pouches they come in, uh, I got some black crepe paper, uh, glued it together with a gold pen, homemade after eights, my virgin kitchen styley. Uh, and once they were done, I popped them out. I actually found that the round ones with the silicon, so what I'm finding, I couldn't actually get a square tray because that would be perfect. They look great, but also the ones in my custom mold did too, and they fit perfectly in the pouches. Taking a bite out of it and showing you the middle gooing out right there, it was absolutely gorgeous. So there we are, folks. Nice and simple. Uh, three ingredients after eights. Homemade after eights. A lot of you guys wanted to see it. So uh, put your own spin on it. Add different things to it. Different fillings, different flavours. You're going to love it. Boston's running at me. We brought the dog down to the beach. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. There he is. <laughs> you just wanted to say hello, didn't you? All right. Give it a go, guys. 